Hey gang, how you doing? It's Ray Glasser once again, aka The Videoholic, coming to you from Cleveland, Ohio on Sunday, July 17th, 2011. And many of you may be wondering, haven't seen me for a long time here on YouTube, and it's very true, I have not been on camera probably since sometime last year. And there are reasons for that, which I'll get into in a few minutes. Um, I'm sitting in front of what's left of my Betamax library, and I say what's left of because I got a new friend I made last year who lives in Solon, Ohio, who was very slowly uh, shrinking the size of my Betamax library while increasing the size of his. And he's the only guy that's responded to my offer of uh, coming over and looking through my Betamax tape and seeing what he wants to take. He's got three Betamaxes so far and about 250 of what were my tapes. And you may be wondering, why am I doing this? Well, a lot of reasons. Number one, I just want to shrink the size of this wall. I just don't need all these tapes anymore because I don't watch most of them. And number two, I find myself watching DVDs a lot more than I watch these videos. Main reason, of course, is the incredibly uh, improved quality over uh, videotape. So this is kind of passe. This shirt actually goes back to the days of Miami Vice, which would be obvious to many of you, back in the 1980s. And at one time, that was true. Videotaping was my only vice. I have others now. One is ice cream. <laughs> but uh, anyway, let me digress. Uh, this year is a lot worse than I was hoping it would be. I thought 2010 was bad. 2011 is uh, turning out to be a pretty lousy year for me, which is why I've not really been in the mood to come on camera. But uh, I thought, well, let me do this and get it done. At least people will know why I've been absent from their YouTube screens. Uh, last year was a pretty dull and boring year for me. I was working all year, making a living and all that. Uh, not really crazy about the job I had, but at least I was working. This year, I've had two major mishaps. The first occurred in January when I went to Las Vegas for the first time in three years to attend the Consumer Electronics Show and see some old friends. I had an infection under one of my arms, turned out to be a, uh, a very serious boil, and I had to go to the emergency room and have it lanced and all that. That bill uh, is still pending. It's a tremendously high bill, which I'm having a hard time paying. So that was one mishap. I spent eight hours of my Las Vegas vacation in the emergency room, four hours one day and four hours two days later. But at least I got that infection taken care of, so it's kind of history. That's the first big mishap for this year. The second is I'm currently unemployed. For the first time since 1986, I have found myself without a job. Um, I actually quit the job I had at that large bakery where I've been working since 2008, and um, I found another job actually right here in Menor, in my own neighborhood. That didn't work out. I lasted there two weeks and then let me go. So I found myself without a job. <laughs> And I'm still looking for a job after about six weeks of being unemployed. I'm not getting unemployment. I didn't qualify for it. And uh, things are pretty hairy right now. So in that respect, this has been a really terrible year for me. Have a few irons in the fire that may or may not come to pass, but time will tell. In the meantime, um, I did retire from my Baker's Union again. I'll be getting a small pension each month starting in September, but nowhere near what, what I need to live on. So really got to find some work. Uh, I'm not qualified to do a lot of things. I've been in the uh, retail and restaurant business most of my life. I've worked in a few factories and uh, it's very slim pickings up here in northern you know, Ohio. It really is. So it's, uh, it's kind of a hairy situation. So that's what's making this year pretty lousy for me. Uh, I recently had two anniversaries I want to get into real quickly. In March of this year, I celebrated four years of uploading videos to YouTube. And I'm not done. I still have some odds and ends I want to upload to some of my channels every once in a while. But as far as uploading a lot of old clips, I'm pretty well through. Uh, unless I come across some odds and ends I didn't know I had or I forgot to upload or whatever, uh, I'm pretty well done uploading a lot of videos to my, I think I have eight active YouTube channels right now. So that's one anniversary. March was four years of uploading to YouTube. The biggie was last month in June of 2011. I celebrated 35 years in home video. I uh, got my first Betamax in June of 1976, and I cannot believe that was 35 years ago. And in those 35 years, I spent tons of money on this video collection, but more so on getting the Betamaxes in my house from eBay or wherever, 
uh, keeping them maintained and serviced and fixed and all that and reselling them and everything else and it's been a really expensive but fun hobby I mean I have a lot to show for it but still about 2400 and some odd tapes uh, in this room so it's been a lot of fun over the years collecting videos but I'm essentially done with that too as of this spring I actually pretty well stopped collecting uh, current TV with the end of Smallville which I've been following religiously since 2001 when it premiered and it ended in the spring of 2011. Great series. I love the whole Superman saga. And I thought it was a very, very well done series. But with Smallville ending, uh, I no longer collect or watch current TV, network TV, syndicated TV, whatever. I uh, just really have no interest in it. Uh, it's funny. Back in the 1970s, if you taped a one-hour TV show and took out the commercials, which we all did back then, you were left with about 50 to 52 minutes of program content. Now, that same one-hour TV show will give you, if you're lucky, 40 minutes of program content. So they've actually added about 10 to 12 minutes of commercials in a one-hour TV show over the last 30 to 40 years. That's pretty lousy, if you ask me. Every five minutes, you have another commercial break, and those little animations on the bottom of the screen drive me nuts, and even the station logos make me crazy. I, I just hate it. So that's part of the reason I just don't have any interest in watching or collecting current TV. Plus, I have a whole wall of videos to watch, many of which I have not watched in 20 to 30 or more years. So I have plenty to watch on my TV. Plus, I have a pretty good-sized DVD collection, which is always growing. I'm buying used DVDs off Amazon or renting them for Redbox or whatever. And uh, the quality of DVDs on my HD TV is just incredible. So I'm really happy with that. That's why I'm watching fewer beta tapes and more and more DVDs. Plus the fact that many movies I have on beta that I now have on DVD, I don't need the beta copies anymore. So I'm giving them to my friend Mike, and he's enjoying them. Even though they're not quite as good as DVD, he may not have them on DVD. And actually, many movies on this wall are not available on DVD. I must have a hundred or more made-for-TV movies on this wall that I'm very proud of, and most of them have never come out on DVD, at least not official studio releases. A lot of times you can buy what I would call bootlegs of them when somebody takes them off TV like I have and they burn them to DVD and sell them on the internet. That to me is not a studio release. So uh, I have a lot of stuff on this wall that has never been released on DVD and may never be released on DVD. So I'm keeping this stuff in my beta library that is rare. A lot of network TV specials that will never be shown again, I am going to keep. But most of the movies that are pre-recorded or most of the movies that are widely available on DVD, I don't have to have them on beta anymore. So that's the story. That's why my Betamax library is shrinking. Uh, that's why I am no longer essentially collecting on home video. I can really say I was in home video for 35 years because I really stopped collecting off TV. I'm only collecting movies now on DVD. And once in a while, if I find a little gem somewhere on TV, I'll tape it. And that's pretty much it. Plus the fact that as of July 31st, in a couple of weeks, my replay DVR will no longer update the menu every night like it has been since I bought it in 2000. So I cannot time or record shows anymore. What I'll have to do if I want to record a show uh, that's on in 12 hours or something is just keep the replay on, tune to that channel, and go back to what I used to do, time and record on a Betamax by using the audio and video inputs of the Betamax coming out of the DVR's audio and video outputs. And that way I can still record a TV show. Um, I cannot record on high definition or widescreen. And luckily my DVR, uh, since it's a cable, goes right through the cable without a cable box, I'm getting all the channels in 4x3. So I can record them on beta and at least I can preserve them that way. So that's pretty much the story. That explains why I'm having a bad year this year, why I've stopped collecting videos, and um, my two anniversaries of this year. Also, in case you're wondering, I'm really down to two Super Beta Hi-Fi's. I have two SLHF 750's in my video rack right now, and those are the ones that actually had the drawer that comes out and lifts up where you can pick the tape up out of the Betamax. It's really a neat machine. Records and plays back Beta 1, 2, and 3 and both of my 750s are in really great shape so they should last me quite a while I'm putting very little use on them these days so that explains where I've been why I've not been on YouTube that much and uh, I just hope this year gets better it's not very good at all so far uh, I really don't know how this year's gonna wind up 
but uh, I hope it's better than it is right now. Anyway, Ray Glasser signing off from Cleveland, Ohio on Sunday, July 17th, 2011. And take care, and we'll talk to you again someday. Bye-bye.